Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing something a little bit different because I'm coming at you with a savory recipe. If you are new to my channel, hi and welcome. My name's Nicole and I'm just a gal that loves food. I love baking, I love cooking, and I love sharing all of my recipe videos with you guys. I post weekly on YouTube, so if you love food and you love watching recipe videos, definitely subscribe to my channel. So guys, next week is the Super Bowl, and as a foodie, when I think of Super Bowl, I don't really think about football, but I actually think more about the food that I'm gonna be eating while watching the game. In today's video, we are going to be making quick and easy delicious sliders that are perfect for game day. And to kick it up a notch, they are going to be In-N-Out inspired. So it's gonna have that delicious In-N-Out sauce that everybody loves. If you are Team Shake Shack, I'm sorry, we will do another Shake Shack video in the future. But today, it's all about the In-N-Out. In this video, I actually have a super special bonus for you guys, so make sure to watch until the end. All right guys, before we get started, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more recipe videos from me, subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. Let's get started. Okay guys, so we're gonna start with two pounds of ground beef. To the beef, we're gonna add in half a cup of breadcrumbs, half a teaspoon of garlic salt, and lastly, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Now it's time to mix all the ingredients together. In this step, I'm using my spatula, but if you get tired of using your spatula, don't worry, just go ahead and go in with your hands. It's a lot easier this way, and it's a lot quicker as well. Once the breadcrumbs and seasonings have fully mixed into the beef, just set this over to the side and it's time to prep our sheet pan. Go ahead and spray some cooking oil on it and start wiping down to evenly coat the pan. Next, taking our ground beef, we're gonna plop that directly into the pan and using our hands, we're just gonna press the meat evenly into the pan. In this step, it's important to make sure that the beef is distributed evenly throughout the pan so that there's an even cook once we pop it in the oven. Now we are going to bake this at 425 Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes. It is time for the most important step of this recipe, making that special in and out sauce. In a medium bowl, we're gonna add in three quarter cups of mayonnaise. Then we're gonna add in three tablespoons of ketchup. Two tablespoons of sweet pickle relish, one and a half teaspoons of white granulated sugar, and lastly, one and a half teaspoons of white vinegar. And then we mix until you get that classic orange burger sauce color. Comment down below which fast food restaurant you think has the best sauce. I love In N Out, but I also love that Chick fil A sauce. Now set the sauce aside and it's time to work on our brioche bun. In this step, I just divided the buns in half and using a tablespoon of melted butter, I'm just brushing the insides of the buns. Once done, we're gonna broil the buns for about five minutes until they get nice and toasty. Now, going back to our beef out of the oven, it should look something like this. And while it's still hot, top it with six slices of American cheese. Till this day, I still have no idea what American cheese is, but I just used Kraft singles to top the meat. Then just cut the beef in half and set aside. At this point, our bread should be done and out of the oven, they should look nice and golden brown like this. Then we are going to take that special in and out sauce and generously coat the bottom bun. I am assembling the burgers based on how In-N-Out does it and based on many Google images that I've seen. So it looks like they start off with the tomatoes. So I'm just placing 12 tomato slices on each bun and then I'm gonna add the lettuce. Full disclosure, you can adjust the amount of toppings based on your preference. Next, we're gonna add the beef patties with cheese. So I'm basically taking one half of the slab and placing them on one side and then the other slab on the other. Next, I'm adding a few slices of white onion. You can of course stop at this topping, but I am gonna be adding pickles to my sliders. I know there is a strong anti-pickle club out there. Trust me, I used to hate pickles, so I used to be part of that club, but one day I just randomly started liking pickles. Very bizarre how that works. I still don't understand it, but the last step is to generally, not generally, generously, coat that top bun with that special in and out sauce. And there you have it, ladies and gents, our beautiful and delicious in and out inspired sliders, perfect for game day. Look at how delicious and juicy this looks. 
Also, those brioche buns take this to the next level. Pro tip, wanna make your sliders animal style? Slap on a little bit of extra sauce and top with grilled onions, and there you will have it. You will have animal style, in and out inspired sliders. These sliders are so juicy and so flavorful and taste so similar to in and out burgers. 10 out of 10 recommend making these for game day. You read that right guys, you are getting a bonus recipe in this video. We are gonna be making my gooey s'mores sliders. In a bowl, we're gonna combine a third cup of crushed graham crackers, one tablespoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Then we mix. Then I'm gonna take another pack of the brioche buns that we used in the earlier recipe. I'm gonna divide them in half and taking a tablespoon of butter, again, we're just gonna butter up the bottom bun. Then taking four of your favorite 100 gram milk chocolate bars, you can use any brand you'd like. I'm just placing them horizontally onto the bun. And because they're a tad bit longer than the actual bun, I'm just snapping off the ends of the bars and placing them in the center. Then I am taking 12 jumbo marshmallows, feel free to use the mini ones as well, and I'm just gonna place a marshmallow on each bun. Next, I'm taking that graham cracker mixture that we worked on earlier and drizzling them on top of each marshmallow. Now it's time to take the tops of the buns and place them on top of our bottom buns and I'm gonna brush them again with some melted butter and of course, add more of that graham cracker mixture on top. We are almost done this recipe guys, just a couple more steps. Once you are done sprinkling that graham cracker mixture on top, it's time to place in the oven at 350 Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Out of the oven, your s'mores slider should look like this, super crispy and toasty on the outside, but yet so chocolatey and gooey on the inside. Because we added cinnamon to this recipe, it tastes just like a brioche French toast with gooey chocolate and marshmallow inside. How can you go wrong with that? That is how I make my super quick, super gooey, and super delicious s'more sliders. I hope you guys enjoyed this bonus recipe. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed the bonus s'more slider recipe that I added at the end. So in today's video, I gave you two delicious s'more sliders that you can make next week for game day, and I hope you enjoy them. Comment down below who you guys are rooting for this Super Bowl, and if you end up recreating any of these sliders in today's recipe, don't forget to tag me on my Instagram, at Nicole Charmaine, and I will delightfully post them for everyone else to see. Before I let you go, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, definitely subscribe to my channel to see more recipe videos from me. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my recipes. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. In today's video, we are doing a little bit of a different recipe.